Okay, now this is Mars. It's beautiful. And we should probably start mining and gathering resources. Let's get some strawberries down. We're gonna surround the planet in strawberries if we can, because there's gonna be all these different types of enemies coming at us. And there's some new ones. So this is really cool. There's new enemies on Mars. We already get to choose an upgrade and we can pick Calbunga. Let's go. Let's get some dragons down just to support our strawberries. There's a new type of enemy. The Mars creatures are kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. Right now it's so early in the game. So I think we should probably go with high tech, get our upgrades faster, but we definitely need more stone and stuff like that. So we're gonna place down more mines. We need some more Calabungas on this side because this side's a little weak. The Calabungas look like they do a lot of damage. They keep slicing all these weirdos to death. And there's turtles coming to attack us. I didn't know there was turtles on Mars. Those look like just normal turtles. I have no idea what's going on in there, but let's just keep placing down structures if we can. Let's put down a mine here and a furnace there. And we should definitely upgrade our fire dragons because those were really good last time. So now our fire dragons are really strong. And just in time too, because there's some weird demon looking creature with one eye coming to destroy us. Hopefully our cowabungas are strong enough to hold them off. Ooh, what is this? A storm turtle. We can unlock a storm turtle. Buzz upon thunder that strikes all enemies in the area. That looks really good. I'm putting down a storm turtle over here by the cowabunga. Hopefully the cowabunga will protect the storm turtle. Oh my gosh, it sends out a little storm cloud. Okay, now we have four storm turtles, but it might not be enough. There's a lot of enemies coming in. Lots of little raccoons. Looks like we can hold them off for now. There's nothing over here to protect these mines, so they're getting attacked by the little raccoon people. And we're just gonna put fire dragons in the middle because we know their range can get really, really far. And then we'll have all our little sacrificial people on the outside. <laughs> The Calabungas are so good, but they're really little expensive and they cost gold. So these guys cost stone and these guys cost gold. And this costs mana. So we have plenty of that. We just don't have plenty of gold. If we upgrade our planet, it will produce 50 stones and 13 gold. Additionally, these Mars creatures don't like the electric storms. They're not used to it. It looks like the wave's thickening a bit, but we should probably increase our mine production and then we shouldn't have to buy any more mines. Now there's some Pokemon coming to kill us. Huh? <laughs> but they're ranged though, so we're gonna have to call in some abilities to mow them down. This is my favorite part. Oh, look at their health. They actually have a lot of health. Oh, we can finally pick our rock. We up, oh my goodness, this is amazing. We get to finally use a rock. What is it gonna do? I imagine it throws rocks at them. They're starting to destroy our troops. This isn't good. We need, oh, our fire dragons aren't helping at all. Their range sucks right now. I think we're gonna have to call in reinforcements here. You can't go wrong with oranges. This should give these big baddies something to shoot at. There's some really weird creatures coming after us. Mars is a very dangerous planet. I don't wanna go there. I don't know why Elon Musk wants to go to Mars. It seems like a terrible time. So we're gonna have to increase our fire dragons range so they can actually hit something because they haven't been able to hit anything. And we might as well just place a bunch of mines down because we can. We have so much money or so much stone rather. And the snails are on Mars as well. So they're coming to attack us. And I think our defenses have taken a big hit. I'm gonna put another cowabunga over here. So we have four cowabungas, four strawberries and a lot of fire dragons. And we, of course we have some of these turtles, storm turtles. Storm turtles seem pretty good, so we might buy a couple more. We just need to evenly distribute our defenses. These snails are getting pretty close, so we're gonna call in some oranges. Whenever you have snail problems, just call in the oranges. Storm turtles do more damage. We have more storm turtles, so I think we're gonna buy more storm turtles. Okay, storm turtle damage increase again. Looks like we're gonna be buying lots of storm turtles this time. There's a bunch huh? of different types of turtles on Mars. Now there's some kind of magma turtle, but now we get to upgrade our furnaces. So now I don't think we need to buy any more furnaces at this point. We have max level furnaces and mines now. Look at all our defenses to shred these little raccoon people. <laughs> okay, now we get to upgrade our storm turtles even more. Their attacks are gonna be really big now. So it's gonna hit a lot more enemies, hopefully. These raccoon people do like to spread out. Oh, you can see them spawning in over here. They're teleporting. <sighs> Let's put down a strawberry person over here. It's good to have meat shields or, or fruit shields. I guess these would be fruit shields. Okay, now there's some really big turtles over here. We're gonna strategically call in some oranges over here because they're gonna go over and fight these big turtles. Hopefully they'll get there. I don't know though. I would like some more fire dragon upgrades because they don't have enough range yet. And there they go. They're 
they finally reached the turtles, but they died right as they got there. We can increase these storm turtle damages, so we're definitely going to do that. Water dragon. Oh, that looks really cool. I like what we got going on here. We got this ring of cowabunga dudes, and then we got strawberries going out to meet the enemies at the front lines. And of course, we want to buy these water dragons. They, it says they slow enemies, so we're going to put them on the outside. We bought four water dragons. They have pretty decent range, and they should push back all these little pests. Our cowabunga wall is expanding. Okay, we're definitely upgrading our storm turtles. Our turtles are OP, but these things make me really uncomfortable. I don't know if they're a cat, a snail, a slug, or a mix of all of them. Whoa, these guys are green. Why is our cowabungas green? I have no idea what's happening. We could make it so we get upgrades faster, or we could upgrade our storm turtles. We're definitely doing that. Now their attack area is going to be absolutely massive. They're doing so much AoE damage, that's amazing. But it's not very powerful quite yet. We still need to upgrade it. Now there's some spiky, evil-looking hermit crabs coming after us. We might need to call in some abilities and reinforcements for this. They look really big. So let's call in the shelling and just mow them all down. Oh, these snails actually have huge ranges. I forgot about that. So we need more of these storm turtles on the outskirts just so that they can reach. Oh, we don't have enough. Oh no. It costs gold. We don't have enough gold. We need to call in more oranges. Actually, we can call the oranges right on top of the enemy. <laughs> so we're gonna turn these oranges into hell divers and send them against these weird looking Martian creatures. Oh, this is getting quite hectic. We're calling in more oranges. Lots more oranges. This is actually crazy. Oh, there we go. Small cowabungas deal more damage, but we can't buy more cowabungas right now. We're just gonna buy more fire dragons if we can. All around, whenever we can fit them. And more oranges. This is, we, we lost so many troops there. Wave 18 was really difficult. And there's even an enemy left from Wave 18 who hasn't died yet. He just keeps getting zapped by all the lightning turtles. And he finally died. Oh, great. Now there's more turtles attacking us. They do so much damage. <laughs> they actually two-shot our cowabungas. And we can upgrade our fire dragon's damage, which is going to be nice. We have lots of stone, so I wonder what I can spend it on. I guess we could buy more of these stone people. Why not? We'll put these stone people on the outsides. Because they're not important to us. Well, I guess we should probably upgrade our stones since we just put a bunch of them down. We need more hell divers. <laughs> there's a bunch of these evil one-eyed monsters. Now there's some little robots. I have a bad feeling that these little guys are going to explode, and I don't want that. But they stand no chance against our turtle army. And this is really appreciated here. More attack range. The range basically covers half the map now. Speaking of damage, ooh, these fire dragons are going to be really strong now too. That's going to be good, because we have a lot of them in the middle. Oh my gosh, look how many oranges we called. And what are these things? Oh, there's some more turtles. Huh? Yeah, there's a lot of turtles in, uh, on Mars. I don't know why. I think we're gonna give our strawberries a little bit of love. Now they're going to make more little babies to go fight for us. Oh no, I think some of the turtles broke through. They broke through our cowabunga wall. Oh no, time to use the machine gun. <laughs> Luckily we get upgrades really fast because we've chosen the high tech upgrade multiple times. And since we have so much gold, we should probably get more of these cowabungas. But now more of these big guys are showing up and even bigger turtles. We'll call a martyr on every big turtle. And it doesn't do very much damage at all. <laughs> that was a bit of a waste. This is the last wave. So there's a huge rock monster coming right at us. Huge rock monsters, two of them. This isn't looking good. So we're gonna go all out. We're gonna call in a bunch of fire dragons. As many fire dragons as we can. And then turtle men. So many tur- we're- okay, we can't buy any more turtles. And then we- oh, they're huge! We bought so many troops just then. Does anything just cost stone? Strawberry men. Strawberry men, go! Um... I don't know. I'm just spamming things at this point. Spamming strawberry people. We bought so many strawberries. We have to survive this. We don't have any more mana. We just spent everything. Maybe that was a bad idea. And look at this swarm of strawberries. I've never seen a swarm of strawberries like that before. <laughs> dance, dance, dance. I still don't know what that means. 